Hey, what's up you guys? It's Milo. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Milo and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to be doing something I've wanted to do for a long time and turning a wig into a scene wig. I know the title of the video says Amazon wig. What I like to do is search on Amazon and find something I like and then see if I can actually just purchase it directly from the business. So this wig is from Map of Beauty and I will link, this is not sponsored. I wish this was sponsored. I will link their website down below if you are interested. I haven't opened the wig yet, so let's open it. I've had this for a while and I haven't opened it just for the sake of doing, waiting until I could do the video. So, oh, it comes with a wig cap. That's nice, I already have one, but that is nice. It is a pastel pink and purple and also blue um, wig because I have really wanted to revisit my pastel phase for a while now. I, my pastel phase was a very long time ago before I was really on social media. Actually, no, my early videos, my logo and stuff is pastel, so you can revisit that if you want, but probably don't go watch my old videos. Anyway, so I thought I have like pastel outfits planned, but my hair ruins it. So I thought I would get a wig and just turn it into a scene wig. It's very soft. So it is synthetic because I'm poor. It's pretty long, actually, wow. And it's curly, so we're gonna have to fix that. I mean, the curly's cute but it's not the scene look that I'm going for. And then it has bangs that are straight across. I'm gonna turn them into seed bangs. And then on the inside, it does have the little adjustable thingy-ma-bobs. Clips is the word for that? Yeah, let me put this on. Okay, so I actually had to swoop the bangs to the side anyways, because this is pulled up like past my actual hairline, the hairline of the wig is, and I can't see. So, it's very pretty. I kind of wish that the pink was more, just more. It's kind of like an orangey pink blonde. Uh, like I said, this is actually really soft, and usually when I get cheap wigs, which is every time I get a wig pretty much, you're taking it out of the package, you're putting it on, and there's fibers like falling out of it, there's hairs falling out of it, and that hasn't been the case yet with this, so I'm hopeful. Um, it's definitely not gonna be soft when I'm done with it, unfortunately. But let's head to the bathroom. I will figure out how to set up my camera, which is going to be a struggle. And we will get to work working on this. I think I'm going to straighten it first and then cut it. So, it's really soft. I don't want to ruin it. Anyways, so I'll meet you in the bathroom. Okay, I think this is the best angle we're going to get in my bathroom. There's a mirror in front of me and a mirror behind me. So I'll Mostly be facing that direction. Um, I'm gonna plug my hair straightener in. This was, this wig said it was heat resistant up to, it was like 248 degrees or something really specific because it was originally in Celsius. So I'm just gonna put this at 240. It doesn't go below 300. I'm gonna put it at 300. But I am gonna spray it with heat protectant, so maybe that'll work. I'll do a test strand first to see if it's already ready. To see if it melts the hair. I love how the bangs are already being seen just because I can't see with them the normal way. Okay, well, let's take my glasses off, actually. I hate spraying anything in my hair, like, I don't know, the droplets touching me makes me very uncomfortable, the mist. It's kind of like I love being submerged in water, like swimming or being in the ocean, but um, like rain, not a fan of rain because it's just it's just more overstimulating. It's like, ugh. The way I would describe it is in a bath you're just vibing and in a shower you're being assaulted by water. So I don't really like putting heat protectant in, but you know, you do what you gotta do. Okay, let's brush it. It doesn't need to be brushed, but let's brush it and see how much hair comes out. Being gentle, of course. I don't think any came out. Let's see if I pull. Genuinely nothing came out. Okay, wow. This was a cheap wig and it's impressing me a lot so far. I don't remember how much I paid for this. I will look at that and put it on the screen. I think I paid like $25 for it. Just for the record, if you want to get one of their wigs that's curly and you want it to like be curly, the curls are staying. I'm on my tiptoes right now. I could have just moved the camera, but the curls are staying really nice, even though I'm brushing it out. Okay, let's section this out so I can straighten it bits at a time. I think I'm just gonna do like 
four big sections and then do the bangs separately. The bangs don't actually really need to be straightened, so I don't know if I'll waste time doing that. I almost dyed my hair pastel, but I just couldn't do it. Well, I did dye my hair pastel for like two weeks. And then I got it professionally dyed because I could not be bothered at the time to dye my own hair. That just sounded like a lot of effort. Um, and I had it done neon. I was gonna do it black and I changed my mind last minute. Neon hair has always been my thing. Um, and I had it a natural color for work. Every time I looked in the mirror, I just was like, who are you? Like, this is not me. I didn't feel like I was looking at me because my hair was natural and that's just never been who I am. Okay, let's find out if this is going to melt the wig. Kind of a back piece. Please don't melt. I'll do it really quickly, really quickly. It didn't melt and it's still soft and it's straightened really easily. Well, I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me do this whole thing but I'm going to straighten this section and I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay, I'm not kidding. That took me maybe two minutes, completely straight. Um, I think it's helpful that because I'm using heat that's too much for it, it works very well. So I genuinely, each piece, I just went like this really, really quickly. And I went over it all once and then I went over just the ends one more time, literally that quickly, completely straight. So I am really impressed by the quality of this wig, or maybe not the quality, since it's working a little bit too easily. Um, but yeah, so this whole thing should be done in just a second. Also, I love that now that it's straight, you can see more of the colors kind of coming through, especially more on the bottom, but I'm too short to show you that. Okay, we are all straightened out, and now to fix the bangs. So normally, when I part my hair, the part is gonna be like way over here, not right here. That's gonna be an issue with this, because I'm gonna have to repart this, hope that it looks good, and then cut all this hair so that it like fits with the bangs. I also usually cut my hair with a shaving razor. Like I just, uh, but I have a feeling that's not gonna work the same with this. So I have scissors. So let's try to part this the way I would part my hair. Oh goodness. If this works, it is gonna be really cool in the bangs because you're gonna have like that pink purple above the blue and it'll be all layered. Oh goodness. We'll just have to see if I can pull it off. We're getting there. I would like it to be a deeper part, but I don't know. This hair is way too soft, so I don't know if that'll hold. Okay, look at like the cotton candy stripes though. Very nice. This wig is actually parting really nicely. Like it came with a part, but it's not stuck in that part. It's allowing me to move the hair really easily and it's not creating weird bumps or anything like that. Okay, I think that's gonna be as deep as we need it for this particular project. Now just to cut all of this hair to make it into bangs. I feel like I might regret this, but... I at least want to get it so it's the right length, oh no. All right, part of it decided it wanted to come down on the side, but I'm gonna cut that side anyway, so that works. Now I guess I'm just gonna do this the way that I do my bangs. Separate it out and cut each layer on its own. Some long pieces in there, that's okay. No, it's not, actually, it's bothering me. Stop that. I've never actually really cut a wig before. I mean, I had a black wig that, it was like a really nice lace front wig um, that I just mangled because I wanted to use it for an Edward Scissorhands Halloween costume and then I didn't even end up using it. So I still have that mangled wig somewhere. Thought about maybe doing a video trying to save it, but I've never like cut a wig nicely before. I don't know if people usually cut wigs while they're on their head, um, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, first layer is pretty much exactly how we want it to be. I like the little side pieces. Second layer is gonna need some work. I don't know what I'm doing. Go back, go back. I'm just gonna start taking chunks of this. Yeah, the bangs were already kind of layered, so that's nice. I bought a wig with bangs on purpose so I wouldn't have to fully cut new bangs. I think I cut part of that way too short, so that sucks for me. There's like a little bit and I don't know if that was already there. I'm pretty sure that was my fault, so that sucks. Here, this might be a bad idea. That is a bad idea. We're not gonna do that. Final layer. Oh, that hit me in the eye. I like to, while well, I do mine, I like put the final layer down to the opposite side that it's supposed to be on so that I can separate little pieces, part them how they're supposed to be, and cut them. It's like a little trim. Top layer is shorter than I was expecting to make it, 
but it's working. I think it's gonna actually look okay-ish. Okay, I can't decide if I wanna go with like a swoopy bang like that and leave things the way that they are or a choppy bang where it's like this and chop this part off. It would help if I could see actually while I'm making that decision. I'm gonna go with the swoopy look because I'm realizing that these are getting just shorter and shorter the more that I cut them obviously. Um, and I don't wanna try to like fix them anymore than I have. So I'm leaving it like this, I'm leaving it swoopy. Um, and now I am gonna do a little bit on the sides because it wouldn't be a scene hair style without the little side. I'm worried about doing this side because um, I'm gonna have to cut off a lot of length and I really don't wanna mess it up. Take the piece I'm gonna use. Oh dear, this is a bad idea. Oh yeah, that was a bad idea. That's horrible, okay. Ooh, ooh that looks bad. I did not mean to do that. Okay, well, I did it in chunks. But now we're gonna fix it, so don't worry about it. Do not, or I don't know how to fix it. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, uh, shit. I'll just like. That kind of worked. Did I just ruin this entire wig? Oh my god. I think the razor blade would have been a better idea at this point. You know, I'm glad that I accidentally left this on because I need all of this to be straightened out. Oh dear lord. We're getting the razor out. That's my hair razor. That helped a little bit, but I did do a lot of damage by not do like not using the razor originally. Um, so I don't know if I'll fully be able to correct what I have done. It's still pretty choppy and bad, but whatever. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like with the whole wig. Like, yeah, that's bad. Okay, whatever. We'll see what it looks like with the whole wig done and then adjust as I see fit. I'm gonna show you what I do with my hair, which I should have done originally. Um, I take the front chunk and I get the razor and I just go down, 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 down. See how it's even this time? Crazy. I'm not doing it short enough. I'm like chickening out. Need to just full send. Okay, we are done. Um, I I don't know, it's not perfect, but I added a little bit of a fringe here. I might blend it out more, cut it shorter. Um, because this side already kind of had the fringe, it was hard to incorporate, so it's definitely heavier on this side than this side. But I haven't teased it or anything yet. It's so long, and I thought about maybe taking, not taking length off it, but fitting it out at the bottom. But I really love the look of long seam hair, so I'm just gonna leave it the way that it is. I'm not in love, like it's not perfect, but maybe after I style it, it will be. But I'm still pretty proud of how it turned out. So let me style it, and then you guys can give me your final thoughts on what you think. Okay, here is the finished product of the wig. It really is too long to fit in frame, but I really like how it turned out. Um, I appreciate you watching the video, especially if you made it all the way to, through to the end. I have more wigs that are just destroyed and cheap that I've got, like that I got years ago, that I would really love to do videos like this on where I kind of save them, revamp them, turn them into scene wigs. So if you would like to see that, let me know in the comments because I really want to do that and I'm hoping you guys like this type of content. If you would like the video to let me know that you saw it all the way to the end, I would appreciate it. And of course, obligatory, if you want to subscribe, I would appreciate that too. I will link my playlist with other hair related videos down below as well as just like general style type videos if you're interested in that. But that is all I have for you for now. So I love you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the streets. Peace out. Bye. Now this pretty scene girl, I wish you could've seen her I know she got some problems, but I don't wanna leave her And every time I see her, she makes me get this feeling It feels just like I'm dreaming, gets me higher than the ceiling I know this pretty scene girl, I wish you could've seen her I know she got some problems, but I don't wanna leave her And every time I see her, she makes me get this feeling